Hey guys, I've had a lot of interest and questions over one of the drill chucks that I've shown used in a few of my videos, so I thought I'd do a quick overview of what kind of chuck that this is. I'll put up a bigger picture, but it says American Machine and Foundry Company, Wallstrom Chuck 28-93. And basically it's a keyless automatic chuck. It has to be spinning in order to work. So you get, there's four jaws, and you can't, well, I can get it to back up a little bit there by spinning the arbor portion of it, but it's hard to actuate it without it actually in a machine spinning it. Yeah, it's hard to make it close back up. It would not make a good chuck for like a tailstock of a lathe because it has to be spinning in order to work, but on a drill press or a mill, if you're doing repetitive drilling operations, it comes in pretty handy. When I bought my mill, it came with a bunch of extra tooling. This was included, so I'm not really sure if you can still buy them new, uh, but you can probably find them used on eBay if you're looking for them. This one came with, I think it's a number two Jacobs taper on an arbor here. I didn't like how much stick out that was like a lot of wasted space, especially on a small mill like what I have. So I actually clamped a high-speed steel tool bit, like a lathe tool bit, in the vise on the mill and downfed this in order to make this diameter something I could put in a collet before it was some weird number, 900 and something thousandths, just an odd size that I couldn't grab. So I turned this down to 875 so that I can put it in a 7 8 collet. It saves a lot of space uh, on the stick out. So let me head over to the mill and install this and I'll show you how it works. So before I have to talk over the sound of the mill running, the way you use this thing is pretty simple. If you grab onto this knurled portion at the top, it'll stop spinning and you push down and that causes the chuck jaws inside of here to retract up and open and whatever bit you have inside will just fall out. And then to close them back up, you just put your fingers underneath the, this tapered portion and push up. You don't wanna pinch onto it because this is gonna remain spinning all the time, but you just put upwards pressure underneath here. The whole thing will move up and the jaws will close up on whatever bit you're holding inside of there. So I've just got a center for demonstrating, but if I grab this, it'll stop spinning, and then I push down, and it continues to open further and further until it gets to its max capacity. So this opens to 3 eighths of an inch. Then you just hold your bit inside of here, put your fingers underneath, and put a little upwards pressure, and it grabs onto the bit. Grab this and push down, and the bit falls right out. And that's all there is to it. One thing to look out for is the drill bits with the three flats ground into the shank of them for grabbing in a typical Jacob style three jaw chuck. Because this thing has four jaws, sometimes it'll grab onto those unevenly and cause them to wobble about pretty bad. So I usually look for drill bits with just round smooth shanks on them. And as far as the safety of using this thing, I'm well aware of the dangers at hand. So if you go out and get one, be sure to use your own judgment and caution. I hope this answers all the questions for everyone that was curious about what sort of chuck I was using. Thanks for watching.